Stu back with Raid Shadow Legends. Today we're going to be talking about Steel Bowyer. So this girl came out quite a while ago and it was very unique because she does damage based off of enemy max HP. We didn't have a lot of champions that did that back then. We had far less than we do now and she did it AoE. So we were really happy to have a rare champion that did an AoE based off of enemy max HP and attack just like you see with a lot of the champions out there. Royal Guard, Cold Heart, all those that really do the big hits that we love and know about. Well, this one did too, and she actually did do really good hits. Now, I didn't have her leveled up to 60. There were quite a few people who did level her up because she was good for a, for a good two weeks, but then they immediately nerfed her to the ground, and I didn't understand what it was all about because I think they increased her cooldown from three turns to five turns. If I'm not correct, please let me know. And then they also nerfed her damage by a lot. Like, she used to hit normal. What a Royal Guard would hit for, so now I'm not really sure... We got a two, two, two hits here that she can heal off. That's great. We've got one here to, to place decrease accuracy, which is not really needed. So we don't need to worry about accuracy on her. We can just go with an HP banner to keep her alive because everything else is just based off of crit. She's going to heal herself. And then we're going to do this big AOE. So I think, so I hope, I don't know. I've never played her before, but recently Hell Hades and I have been doing these challenges where we're taking rares through, say, Dragons 20. Speed teams to see who can get the fastest time. We've been saying that we can't use certain champions out there like a Cold Heart. So I'm looking for alternatives to, alternatives to use, right? While I'm making these teams so that I can get faster runs. And I took her to 60 and I was very, very disappointed. Let's go ahead and play it and see what we get. Let's look at her damage. I'm going to have to put it on auto actually, uh, off auto, because I don't think this madam is going to do her. She won't, she won't start out now with her A3. Very weird. Okay, here we go. We're going to do it at one time speed. This is an AOE. There's a decreased defense on four out of the five. Let's see what kind of damage she can do. 38,000. 38,000 with a decreased defense on AoE. Now, granted, these guys don't have insane max HP like somebody like a dragon or a spider would have, but they've got pretty good. We're on stage 20, and anybody, anybody out there that you put in the same kind of gear that I have on her can hit for this damage. We'll look at her gear in a second. She's up to like 318% critical damage, so it's pretty damn high. All right, let's go ahead, go ahead forward and see what everybody else hits for. So I could put 318% critical damage on anybody out there who does a, an AoE based off of attack. Nothing to do with enemy max HP. And they can easily hit for 40k. Easily hit for 40k. And she was hitting right there for it. So already I am very disappointed. And it's really a matter of, you know, it's really bad for anybody out there. Now this is a while ago who leveled her to 60 and there was nothing they could do about it. They leveled her to 60. Two weeks later, they nerfed her down and then you're stuck with this champion that you never use, right? And all she's about is doing that move. I mean, there's really nothing else to her. You just want her to come in. Now, if you look at her A2 and her A1, again, they're hitting just as hard as a regular champion would do. No no more, no really less. Kind, kind of the same. Maybe a little bit less, I feel like. I don't know what her multipliers went to. But when you talk about this kind of ability that does damage based off of enemy max HP, even if we're not hitting super hard on the waves, right? Say we're not hitting hard on the waves. That's fine. I can deal with that. Say we hit normal hits on the waves. No problem. They don't have really high HP. But when we get to a boss, you better give me those numbers that Husk brings in, that Cold Heart, Royal Guard, Seer, all those people bring in. When, if you can't even hit for a portion of what Seer hits for on a boss because she hits far less, right? Seer will hit for, for a lot of damage on the waves. But when it comes to bosses... She does do damage based off of enemy max HP, off of the buff she eats, but she will not do anywhere near as much damage on bosses, right? Well, Steel Bowyer, I don't know what's up, but we're going to compare her to a Royal Guard, and then we're going to jump into, maybe she's just not performing in PvE, maybe she's a PvP champ for some reason, which is very weird, because none of those guys who do damage off of enemy max HP do well in Arena, unless it's somebody with a crazy high HP in Arena, and you're bringing in a Seer or something like that. Okay, let's look here, we're going to get a decrease there we go decrease defense and it's on a two turn cooldown no problem we'll wait this turn another one and we'll see what it hits for and now if you as you see her regular hits keep in mind 317 percent or 18 or 19 whatever it is critical damage is is really high really high you put that on a royal guard you put that on a cold heart then they're going to hit this dragon right now for about 700 to 900 thousand no problem this is what she's hitting for <laughs> 146k that's it so something is wrong like she is severely even even a seer with with no buffs to eat would hit for that if not more so it's really weird you know we eat armager armager out there is an uncommon it hits just as hard as is all those champions he just does it on a two turn cooldown 
and that's it. Two turn cooldown over over four over four four turns, he'll hit just as hard as a cold heart. So very weird, very weird that she would be nerfed to this extent and then never revised, right? Never gone back to, never looked at why why yes you're revising champions you're revising legendaries you're revising some epics here and there i like it i understand it but when it comes to something like this that's so severe that li literally there is no place in the game you would ever use this champion because it was brought down so much it's an issue right because they're not bringing anything else to the table and all the new champions that they bring out are pretty good over the last six months even basic champions or, you know, Gaelic, I could take him and just give him the same kind of gear and he's going to hit just as hard. Kale, I could put it at 316 critical damage and he's going to hit just as hard. That's why it's very, very unnerving. Sure, we might not hit for 114 on, on our eight threes, but we can hit close. I mean, we can get up to 90k or something like that to where, you know, when it's based off of enemy max HP, it is really wild. So we're going to take in a Royal Guard after this. Then we're going to go into Arena, see what we can do in Arena. Maybe the multipliers are all messed up and we can do more in Arena, but we'll look at her numbers too because let's say it was more, it was weighted more toward attack. Well, we've got 3,000 something attack on her. Usually all those moves, and 100%, all those moves are based off of enemy max HP far more weighted than they are off of attack. So you don't even need attack. If you've seen my guides about how to how to gear people that do damage based off of enemy max HP, you will know that I go with the HP chest. We don't even worry about additional attack. We go with speed boots. And then we go with critical damage gloves, critical damage neck. So, you know, attack doesn't really play an issue in there. We just go with all critical damage to make sure that that hit hits much harder. All right, we're going to go ahead and edit the team. We're going to throw in a Royal Guard here. Let's see what this Royal Guard is, is running. We'll look at his numbers at 2... 239 let's see if we can get a higher one 239 actually 239 is fine we'll go with 239 and then we'll look at hers let's look at her she's at 3200 and then she's got 316 critical damage 316 he's at 239 239 critical damage so he's also got savage gear on but don't let me don't don't get misled savage gear is not going to swing you a difference of you know 80 percent 70 percent critical damage not even close to it plus Obviously, his multipliers are normal when it comes to hitting people based off of enemy max PHP, just like all the rest of them that we know and love, whereas hers really are not. Okay, I'm going to save both there if we can survive here. We did not get... <laughs> Madam did not do her A3, so I'm going to wait to do takedown on Royal Guard. One more turn, just so we can look at the numbers on the waves, right? I'm curious what the numbers are on the waves. They're going to be very different. Here we are again with Steel Bowyer. We're going to do it at one time speed and go. 40 40 37 again we can get that i can have my war maiden was hitting for that my war maiden on aoe with a decreased defense already up at the same 316 critical damage was hitting for the same thing so not impressive but not a big deal we could deal with that if she did her normal damage based off of enemy max hp right here we go with royal guard on the same kind of guys and much higher so much higher with with far less critical damage let's go into the dragon see what we get there see the see the crazy difference of her doing 140,000 compared to whatever Royal Guard's going to pull off. Now, he has pretty low critical damage. This isn't a 300, 300,000, uh, 300 critical damage Royal Guard with Savage gear on, which is what a lot of people like to do, especially if they're in game and they're doing this and resetting it with Prince Kaimar, killing the waves, and then proceeding onto the dragon to get a speed run like that. This is just a regular, faster Royal Guard that's not even decked out, right? Not even decked out. I don't need to. I don't need to make him any stronger than he is. He works for what I do. For spiders 20 so it's pretty sad i really want them to go back revise plus she's at a five turn cooldown she's at a five turn cooldown compared to royal guard at a four turn cooldown husk is a four turn cooldown you know cold heart is at a four turn cooldown but of course cold heart is single target but she depletes turn meter so it doesn't matter i mean they all have amazing things going for them husk can stun people and then we've got armor girl on a two turn cooldown and he's an uncommon so really big differences here let's see what they hit for okay we're looking for royal guard and we're looking for our our bigger so so to say hit on on her there it is 142 again now we're just waiting for royal guard to come back around and see what we can get probably with his critical damage since it's not really high it's not going to be a 900,000. probably around 600,000, somewhere around there a lot of royal guards come in here and they hit the dragon for 900 to a million those are hard those are really hard hitting royal guards right so 500,000, not even that much at all. So he's hitting actually really weak. Did he have a decreased attack on him or anything else? Nope, nope, that's it. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's up, but they definitely should revise her. They, the, 
please, please, Polarium, if you're watching this, please revise her, make her viable for people to use in the game, right? It's already, you know, Force is already only used for Dragon 20 and Fire Knight 20, but at least let, let us use them there. Let us have that, that playability, that viability to have this champion in the roster. I'm sure a lot of people, like I said before, had her at 60 and they haven't had anything to do with her. They're not able to use her, even on an all rare fun team, they just don't have a place for her. So there's gotta be something we can do with that. That is insane with the amount of critical damage that I have on her right now to even be bothered with thinking that she's not, you know, damage is her job, right? That's, that's her only one job. Let's get in there and do some damage. So that is very, very unnerving. Let's go over here and look. Masteries, you know I have critical damage. I have all the 30% the additional critical damage on her masteries. That's it. Nothing else fancy. Do more damage based off the enemy max HP. Let's go over here. Here is a... Here we go. We got a pumpkin jack here and high defense rosin, high defense dwarf, but he should be high HP. Let's see if we can just do some damage on any of these people here. We're gonna, we've already got it set up. Good. And then we'll be out of here. But guys, I'm so sorry. If you got her back in the day and you got to play her for two weeks or so, and then all of a sudden they just switched her up like this to where she's not even viable. <laughs> I am so, so sorry. Let's see here. We're going to do a hit. Here it is. Here it is. Maybe we'll get a good hit on, on Harvest Jack, right? Uh, 54. Actually, not that bad. Much better. These, you know, these guys, this is this is a, this is gold four. Who knows what these guys are geared? They're probably not geared very well at all. You can see they were pretty low on the on the bracket for me to face. So, you know, easy for me to pull off this damage on these guys, but honestly, she's still not she's still not viable for arena. But I'm glad she at least hit this harvest jack for decent damage, right? I'm glad she at least did that. But she's by no means an arena champion. Not at all. But that's all I've got. Steel Bowyer, please let me know your thoughts below. Let me know if you were one of the, one of the not not even few, if you were one of the ones that took her to 60, because there were a lot, and then have not played her since, then I'm very sorry. Let me know your thoughts down below. I'll see you guys all on a video soon.